my name is Scarlett and I'm going to be showing you how to make a boo pack. I'm making these for animals after they get spayed and neutered for my silver reward project for Girl Scouts, but you can do them for anything. So let's get on with the video. So I'll start by showing you how to make the lining. First you'll need a pattern. You can use a sheet of paper and cut it to any size you would like. This is about 5x5 five five and this will be the size of the boo pack. Next, you get two pieces of material. I just chose to do two pieces of plain material because you won't be seeing as much other than when you wash it. Then you will sew them together. You need to make sure that you leave a space of one or two inches so you have enough room to pour the rice. A good trick is to just keep the foot along the edge of the material. Then when you're done sewing and you have that space right here, you will flip it inside out. A good thing to do is use chopsticks or a pencil to make sure you get all those corners out. And also, if you don't want them to bunch up and you have really big corners, you can just cut them off. Just make sure you don't cut the threads. Then you fill it with rice. And if you do it, did it about five by five, just fill it up about half. That will probably work good for any size that you do it. Just fill it up about, about half way with rice. So it stops about right here and then just sew it across the top or you can sew it along the insides of the material but this is easiest and again, you won't be seeing it so it's okay if it's not perfect. So this is the finished product of the lining. So now we'll get started on the cover. Then for your cover, you have to make a pattern just like you did for the lining. This is about 10, a little over 10 inches. This one is about five and a half inches but that will vary depending on the size that you make your lining. Remember that you'll have to fold it like this, so it'll look kind of like this. Um, so make sure that you fit the cover for the lining so they match up. And this one is just a little tiny bit bigger, so you have to keep that in mind. Then, after you cut it out, it is easier if you do use a material that is about the same as on the inside as it is on the outside, but it is okay if the inside isn't the same as the outside. So you will just hem it, you will fold it over, pin it, and then sew across that so it is hemmed. Same for this side, but you will not be doing the long sides. So this is how you fold it. Now for when you're folding it, you want to make sure that the hem sides are laying flat and then you'll just flip this up, whichever, however far you would like it, and then flip this down about halfway through that square. You can do it whatever size you would like, just make sure that it fits the lining good and that it can go in there. And so when you're done folding it, this, the hem, should be facing you. Then after you folded it, you will just pin it right along the, the side, both sides will need to be pinned and sewn. And after it is sewn, just like this, just down the sides, then you flip it through just like you did with the lining, and it'll be right side out, and you won't see the hems, and you won't see anything, it'll just be nice. This is what it looks like after you've sewn it and flipped it and everything. This is the front, this is the back, and now I'll show you what it will look like over the lining. And this is what it'll look like when you're all done. This is the lining inside the cover. If there's any confusion on how to put it in and take it out, you can just use this pocket, slip the lining in, and then take the top of it, this right here, that goes inside, and just kind of stuff it over the lining. And then to take it out, after you have it in, or taking it out to wash it, you can just pull the inside up and just kind of pull this out. It's just like pillow shoes and stuff like that. For my boo-boo packs that I have made, I used rice inside of them, but you can use beans or anything else that you feel like you would like inside of it, but I just used rice and um, you can use a funnel to pour it in or you can just pour it in by yourself. Thank you for watching the video on how to make these boo-boo packs. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can make your own.